Uh, now, though, uh, Will Miller is known for his roles in dramas like Broadchurch and Line of Duty, but he'll always be remembered as well for two pints of lager and a packet of crisps. And he's now reunited with co-star Ralph Little to record a podcast. Good morning, Will. You see, that just looks like fun. It's just catching up with an old mate, isn't it? No, it really is good fun and it is good to catch up. Um, we started off shooting this uh, in, in a pub before lockdown um, and it was just, you know, it was a good idea to just get us back in a pub situation and have a bit of a laugh and a bit of a chat and people seem to have enjoyed it. But because of lockdown, now we have to do it in this situation. It's a yeah. bit different, but we have a good time doing it. I know. We, we've learned to adapt though, haven't we? And we can still have the conversation and, and it's not that awkward anymore at all. And that's exactly what it is for you because you don't plan that much. It really is conversational. You'll talk about anything and everything. Well, I think that's the whole point behind it um, because if, uh, people were getting in touch with me uh, on social media asking whether we could bring the show to Pants of Lager, a packet of Chris back. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't because of the cast situation. Uh, so, um, yeah, I said, well, why don't we try and get together and give the, the fans of the show at least something, a bit of nostalgia. Me and Ralph got back together in a pub setting um, and we filmed it uh, so you can watch it and listen to it on a podcast. And, and just had a bit of banter, talked about the old days, uh, had some fun and people seem to enjoy it. So, yeah, we're on episode eight, which is out today. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really enjoyable to do when people seem to enjoy it and it's getting them through lockdown and making people laugh, which is what it's all about. And what is it like working with Ralph again? It's great. Uh, it's really good. It's amazing the amount of chemistry we have uh, because of all the years we filmed together on Two Pines. We didn't see each other for quite a while. I've been doing my thing, he's been doing his thing. Um, so it just worked out great and the timing was great. We started earlier this year, in about January, February time, and we've just had a ball. Uh, really, you forget how much, you know, you, you know, sometimes you have such chemistry with people um, and we can just be ourselves and take the mickey out of each other and laugh at ourselves. So, it's, yeah, it's good. It's been really good. And it sort of makes you think about the whole Two Pints cast as a whole, actually, in many respects, Well, because, as you say, this was sort of born out of trying to bring you all together in the first place. I mean, is it something that could happen further down the line? It's really hard because of the, I'd only do it if we could get the original cast back together because it just would seem right. And it's so hard because everyone's doing different things. I know Sheridan's had a baby now. I don't even know whether she'd be up for doing it anyway. So I don't know. And the other cast members are off doing their thing. So it's hard. And I just didn't want to wait. Um, and and I, I felt a bit guilty because I, I was trying to get something together and it just didn't work out. So I'm glad um, for a bit of nostalgic reasons that we could do this two parts of Will and Ralph. Uh, as I said, usually it is in a pub setting and after we can get back in the pub and film it, we will do. And Ralph's obviously in Guadalupe at the moment, sunning it up in Death in Paradise. So we, we have to do this now across, across the water. So it makes it a bit different. Yeah, yeah. We're just looking at a beautiful picture of him there over there filming. And I'm not feeling sorry for him, I'll put it that way, Will. <laughs> not me neither. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you feel very passionately about mental health and, and people talking. To talk is the, the most crucial thing. And there'll be a lot of people feeling... Like they're in a very dark hole right now for various reasons, whether it's losing jobs, losing loved ones. There's a lot of pain out there. There is, um, and talking does help. Um, I've struggled myself before. Uh, when I lost my sister a while back, I really struggled with that. And, and I realised I didn't talk enough. I sort of put myself in a, a dark place. Um, but um, it's a lot much better this time. And talking does help. And, and it's OK not to be OK. I'm an ambassador for Team KPG, the Kaleidoscope Plus Group, which are an amazing uh, mental health charity. Um, and th th they sort of taught me when I've spoke to them that, you know, talking does help and, and to admit that you're not OK, especially men as well. You know, it's, it's, it's hard, with, even if you haven't lost anybody, but just going through this at the moment, losing your job, losing your business or struggling to get out, it's very tough. So talking does help and, 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 and speak to people who, who can help with mental health. Uh, like I say, the Team KPG are out there. So uh, don't be afraid to reach out. Mm -hmm. And it was just saw a little picture there of you and your little ones. I mean, just having them there lifts the spirits in, the, in yourself, doesn't it? They're just gorgeous little things. <laughs> They're my world. I mean, my son's not so little anymore. He turned 16 the other week, so we're going for new battles now. <laughs> but he's... Uh... They're my life, my world, you know. Um, I live for my family, so everything I do is for them. Um, so, yeah, I'm very, very lucky uh, to, to have what I have around me. Yeah. Um, are you still a Hollyoaks fan, Will? We got me. Hollyoaks started my career, you know, so how could I not be? I have a lot. To, uh, Hollyoaks, I've got a lot to thank for, for, for where I am now and, and other jobs that I've done. And that's my friend Nick Picard, who's still in it. We call him the Ken Barlow of Hollyoaks because he's, <laughs> he's been in it that long. He was, he was the only one left in it from when we first started it when I was 19. Uh, it was me and him, and uh, he, he's the only one left in it. Um, but um, 
No, yeah, I'm just a chuff for Nick and everyone else. And there's, there's an anniversary coming. Sadly, I won't be returning. But, um, yeah, I've got a lot to thank that show for. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy anniversary for when it comes around. Yeah, I remember those early, early episodes. My goodness. Well, look, thanks so much for talking to us. And the podcast is so brilliant. Like we say, Two Pints with Will and Ralph. It's uh, available now. Eighth episode, you said there, Will. So. It is. It yeah. is. But can I just make one little comment? It's my mum's birthday today. And I can't be with her because she's with my sister Janice in France. And I just want to wish my mum, who's, who's the matriarch of the family, an absolute goddess. Happy birthday, mum. Sorry I can't be with you. But have a lovely day. What's I your love name, you Will? World, okay? And my mum's called Shirley. Shirley, Shirley. Happy birthday from all of us. Yes, absolutely. Send you lots of love. Thank you so much, Will. You. Happy Have birthday, Shirley. Home. See you. Bye-bye. Nice Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.